do you guys have any idea of what AI is? Yeah. So, what is AI? AI is some technique that will allow machine to work like human, right? Yeah. But saying so, it is not uh, not only a robot that is a replica of human. It may uh, it may vary from a basic narrow AI that is expertise in some certain field to the artificial general intelligence. So there are different techniques that uh, can be applied to uh, you, uh, to have artificial intelligence. One of the technique is machine learning. Machine learning is the technique uh, where you make your make your model learn certain patterns from the feature extracted from the data. So in machine learning, you'll uh, need a data that you'll you'll actually make your machine learn from a data. You'll extract extract certain patterns from the features that are extracted from the data, and then there is some, something called as deep learning that will uh, use a complex network structure to uh, make your model learn from learn certain patterns from the features. There are other terms like reinforcement learning and deep reinforcement learning too, which we will not be covering in this section. So as I've already told, machine learning is a model or um, it is some mathematical algorithm that will take a data, right? So it will take a data and tries to learn something from it, tries to learn certain patterns from the data. But uh, before uh, reading, the, uh, reading the data on its own, you will have to pre-process that data so that it, certain features are extracted and the model will learn certain patterns from it. So we do have two types of uh, machine learning generally, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In supervised learning, you will provide the output yourself, which is called annotations along with the data. So, so the model will previously know that what it should actually get as the output. It will have input and the output itself but, it, but that mathematical formula will also calculate the output. So you will have two output, right? Then you will compare that two output and find something called loss function. You'll just understand, model will understand the differences between what it have got and what it actually should have got. But in unsupervised learning, what the model will do is take the data, just learn the data. It will not know the output previously and try to uh, figure out those certain patterns certain patterns um, from those data and it clusterize those uh, similar feature into one clusters. So you can see there the, those apples are clusterized in one class, right? One cluster and all the banana are clusterized in another cluster. So it will be done by the model yourself. So let us uh, look at the example see, uh, spam classification. All of you, almost all of us have, uh, have used mails, Gmail, right? There will be something called as spam, isn't it? The mails which are spam, spam will be classified separately, right? So that is usually using the machine learning. But the thing is, the data over here is mails. Mails, isn't it? So now what you have to do is something called as natural language preprocessing. You have to have the basic knowledge of data science for that. So you, for, for using machine learning, you have to have the basic knowledge of data science image preprocessing or that um, or natural language preprocessing feature engineering you have to understand these subjects before so here the uh, initially though there are incoming mails right and then the mails are analyzed you will do it with some algorithms um, and then once the mails are uh, analyzed the ex features are extracted from those mails only and then those features are only fed into the models. You won't feed the noisy data into the models. And the machine learning model will do its tasks and perform, uh, perform its work. Uh, here the work is to classify it as spam or non-spam. So let us look at the uh, general application that you guys have uh, used in a day-to-day -day basis. So almost all of us know about the face recognition. You guys have used face lock, right? Isn't it? Uh, so what does it use? It uses a machine learning model, isn't it? What is the data for that? Images, isn't it? So what will happen is it will take image, it will recognize image, right? For that you will have to feed certain, certain training data set to the model before training, for the training process. 
you will uh, feed the images it will perform its task and then while, while you just uh, lock your mobile with unlock your mobile with face it will figure out where your eyes are where your nose where, where this basic structure of your face is isn't it so this is the day to day uh, application of um, machine learning you guys also have used mails that is spam classification yourself is a application of machine learning you guys have also uh, you guys also have used siri isn't it siri that's speech recognition application of machine learning and then you guys also um, also uh, have encountered something like the auto um, there is the auto generated word in like docs and what does it use it is machine learning what is, what is does before machine learning is a natural language preprocessing so there are many applications ranging from medical diagnosis to basic face log to everything the, we do use machine learning apps like in a daily basis not app but model so uh, another topic is deep learning uh, deep as i've already told deep learning is itself a machine learning right but it will be using something really complicated structure like a network that is uh, inspired from human or biological nor neuron nervous system so you have neurons in every layers then each neurons are connected to the neurons in another level right so here is neurons will have something like a machine learning model which i won't be like explaining in deep for now but if you guys want to know you can just ask me later so uh, let us try to connect machine learning and wordpress now uh, we do have few uh, machine learning plugins um, that are uh, that are in WordPress, but still we do not have as much as uh, uh, as much as uh, like those plugins that are usually used in other sections, right? We don't have as many, but let us see uh, one plugin called Imagine. So there is uh, this plugin called Imagine in WordPress that will uh, generate uh, the image as per the text you write. If you write a dog over there, then this plugin will create uh, the image of dog for you. So, if you are a content writer, it it will be really useful for you, isn't it? You want you can create the image as per the word or text you write or the sentence you write. So, what it is actually doing is it is generated. Uh, so, it is uh, inspired from a Dolly uh, generation uh, generation of. <laughs> Um, algorithm that uses a diffusion algorithm. So what diffusion algorithm will do is add noises in the image, add, will add Gaussian noise in the image and then try to denoise those noised images. There is another plugin called the Bertha AI2 and this Bertha AI will um, uh, generate the content for you. If you write the topic, then it will generate content for you. It will generate some words for you. But in the free version, you will have only uh, you can generate only thousand words. In and in Imagine also, you can only uh, generate 40, 40 images for a free version. And now let us look at the demo. Oh, so here is the example how you can use the the Imagine plugin. So here I have written a dog. Uh, in the forest eating cake, so it's generating that image for me. It's generating the image of dog and uh, the forest and the cake for me. So what it's doing is, uh, as I've already told, it was trained with the data, uh, th with the images, with the normal images that was fed into the model, and then it uh, deno uh, sorry, it noised, it added Gaussian noise to it, and then it denoised it again to generate the artificial images. So as for the uh, image style and artistic style uh, that we just feed into this Imagine plugin, it will generate images for you. Thank you. So, uh, so let us look at the, uh, how we can actually generate model. Let us look at how we can generate, train the model uh, with using some languages. So uh, I'm using Kaggle over here. Kaggle uh, provides you G uh, GPU. It also provides you platform to run the model. And I'm using Python, but uh, we, we can just run the model using PHP or Java or R. But uh, Python have actually a large number of uh, frame, uh, large number of, uh, uh, it provides you a lot of uh, architecture models and everything. So I'm using Python. 
So I have imported libraries over there and then I've loaded the data. As I've already told, my for machine learning data is the most, right? So I've uh, used some uh, pre-processing and then I've extracted the feature with the base. That will be done by the, uh, uh, by this, we have uh, something called mobile lead v2 that will be using our cnn architecture which is deep neural network which is inspired from the deep neural network and uh, it will just extract something some features from those images then i have defined some function with pre-processing and the model then i've compiled the model and then uh, csv logger keep the data of accuracy in every matrix you provide and you can just plot with a, 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 a uh, with a, this a math plot uh, and see if the accuracy is increasing and the loss are decreasing or not or different algorithmics. You can see in the graph. Then, uh, then previously I use a base a base feature extractor, right? So I have on uh, on free some layers and then again try to run it. Then I've added something called as a callback, but what I'm doing here for the for those who are like new to this, I'm just running the model, which is taking the uh, images as the input and doing something like uh, something like classifying the butterfly uh, classes or types of butterfly butterfly into 75 classes. That's what I'm doing with the model. So you're getting it right. I've trained the model for those who are new. I'm just I've just trained the model taken the input right now what i how can i connect it with the a psp or like old press is i have i can just uh, download it i can download it and put a zip file right so i'm saving the model that i've trained just now so I have downloaded the model right now. I uh, what I can do is uh, keep that model and uh, uh, make uh, make something like API to connect the model and the old press, right? That can that was I can do. So I'm just trying to uh, over here. I'm just trying to create a uh, create API. So I will use that saved model to. To create, uh, to create create something like API so that I can use it in the WordPress with something like a plugin or any other integration. So, so you guys remember that I downloaded the uh, that model from the Kaggle, right? So I kept it in this model. I kept that. Uh, file into this model and then I uh, write some code in uh, PSP to use that model and uh, predict predict the class or the type of the uh, butterfly uh, for fu future use or to pro pre or to use that model so I'm using that uh, model over there and I'm returning the type of the butterfly and the confidence level So I'm trying it, I have like kept that in the Heroku server for free and then I'm just trying to uh, predict the type of that butterfly in over there. So it's predicting, so I've fed the image and it's predicting uh, African giant uh, something uh, class and with the confidence level 0 0.51, right? So I can just, uh, you can now predict everything uh, or every images uh, over here. Like if that's related to the butterfly, I'm just trying to classify th that butterfly into different types. I'm just trying, trying to figure out the types of butterfly. Yes, now I can, I, now I, I've created the API, now I can uh, connect the WordPress plugin and that model with that, right? So I'm just trying to create some, a plugin that will uh, connect that model through the API I just created now. So I've just uh, uh, down, uh, zipped that uh, file and then 
and then I will just add plugin in the WordPress. So I'm just trying to like uh, add the plugin. I'm doing it locally for now. So the plugin is activated now. Will be activated. Play. Play me. So I'm adding a post. Now you can choose the file or the image of butterflies, right? And what it will do, what our model will do is classify the type of that butterfly, isn't it? So it has predicted African giant with 53.86 confidence. So why I decided to uh, show you this thing is because there are really less number of uh, plugins and all for the machine learning and AI. I just want you guys to, I just want you guys to know that we can just create any plugin for uh, as and we can do the machine learning part in this Kaggle things and we can connect it to the WordPress right there are so many applications but it, it still there are really less number of plugins in the WordPress so it w I, I thought it would be really inspiring for you to create some models that will be useful in the day-to-day -day life and you guys can upload it uh, as a plugin in the WordPress <laughs>